And then <laughs> we will just start this. Uh, I just wanted to uh, start by thanking you for the invi invitation to come here and share with you our story. Uh, my name is Johanna Garðarsdóttir and I work for the Department of Sports and Leisure at Reykjavík City. And I have been there for almost 20 years now. Uh, I have been the head of information and development since 2018. I am here with my colleague Guðrún, who works in the family park at our department, to tell you a little bit about the lean journey we have been on for the past four years. Uh, first, I'm going to give you a little insight into our organization. Uh, Reykjavík is the capital of Iceland, with about 140,000 people in the city, and about 100,000 more uh, in the capital area. There are about uh, 10,000 employees at the Reykjavik city and our department on average counts about 450. But in the summertime, we go up to around 1,000. What we do on a day-to-day -day basis is that we run all kinds of recreational activities. Uh, for example, we have eight swimming pools, a youth house, uh, after-school activities for disabled ch children, the family park and packing zoo, two uh, large ski areas and three small ones within the city's perimeter, a geothermal beach and a sailing club. Uh, we have five sports facilities and we also sponsor and are in very much contact with the sports club in the city. So it sounds fun, doesn't it? Uh, our lean journey starts in 2018 when we saw that many of our facilities were no longer performing at their best and our KPIs were falling. We have been measuring KPIs for a long time and they, there have of course been ups and up, upwards, they got gone up and down, uh, but we were seeing an uh, increase in a downward slope. Even though our work is having to do with fun and entertaining things, that's supposed to focus on making people happy, our employee satisfaction kept going down. Morals were low, administration got a fail, people were overworked and saw little purpose in their job. But there was one bright sign, employee ambition was at an overall high. People really wanted to do their best, but they were lacking the necessary tools and we saw we had to do something about that. We enlisted the help of Manino, a local lean consulting company to help us set a course for a new normal. The task was not easy. How could we inspire a large group of people working at different location, at different hours, doing very different things? And to make, me, make matters even worse, there was a, a different culture at each location. The first thing we needed was creating a shared vision that everyone could agree on. We were asked over and over again, why are we here? Why do we come to work every morning? As you can imagine, we got many different answers at the beginning. Some said the reason was to make contract, to monitor pools or feed the animals and so on. But once we got past that, we saw it was, it was necessary to set our specific jobs aside and take a look at the big picture. And that is what we ended up doing. We made a big picture. Our manifesto was not a report. We wanted the result to be put forward in a way that each and every employee could relate to. And here you see the result. This is us. This is why we come to work every morning. It's not to keep the office running, making contracts, fixing computer or feeding the animals, although that's kind of important. But we come to work to provide a healthy leisure environment for families. The next thing we did was that we made the picture very visible at all our facilities. And believe me, we were very happy with ourselves and patted ourselves on the back and say, said, okay, we've got this. And then we fell into the first trap. From our point of view, we had been doing everything right. We had involved the leaders from all across the departments in the strategic work. We'd come to a common understanding about our purpose. We'd made sure uh, everyone had a voice and we had promoted it all across the department, but nothing happened. And our KPIs, when measured after a few months, were the same. This was clearly not enough. It wasn't working. Nothing was really changing. 
we needed to do something else and work much closer with each and every employee. So we called Manino again and made a plan. And almost a year after we first promoted the picture, we were finally ready to set sail. Our goal was that every employee would experience a purpose in everything they did. And with some flexibility, we would improve both our professionalism and our flow to better meet the needs of the customer. We went on a nine month long trip, making uh, three facility, taking three facilities at a time. We started in September uh, 2019 and ended in October 2020. I grant you that's not nine months, but due to the lockdown, we had to improvise and find new ways to communicate. And in the long run, that ended up helping the process. The shared vision had already been established, so we needed to go from there with the lean concept to guide us. We experimented with many things and always with the focus on continuous improvement. We had work seminars tapping on each of the topics you see here on the slide. The seminars were ranging from half a day to full day on each topic spread over the time period and everybody got homework in between. We didn't go into any theoretical depth, but we got familiar with many lean approaches. And, when, and then it was up to each facility to take out of the pools the tools they believed would work best for them. And there was no one recipe that could be copied and pasted between our different facilities, because we were not having the same issues, issues at every location. But now we had all those new tools. Although the communication system was our North Star and what we used everywhere. Every team had to make their own visual team board and no board ended up being the same. And they evolved in very different directions. They almost all started out the same. And, I, and believe me, uh, every place thought they, they could just copy the last team sport, but no one ended up doing so. We also implemented daily standing meetings and that was not always easy. In some locations, there were problems keeping them short enough and people could ramble on for about an hour. In other locations, it was necessary to turn down the frequency after a while because the work demanded that people were at different locations at different times. But having a fixed agenda, many people were pushed way out of their comfort zone. And simple statements like, eh, this is how I'm feeling today, or my workload is this week is like this. That was probably the most effective in the implementation. And after a while, we saw an increase in trust and people started to communicate in a different way. Having a visual management not only resulted in a better understanding of each other's work, it also helped the relationship within the workplace. And all of a sudden, people were offering to help with tasks and got better understanding of them. And we got better understanding of the knowledge uh, skill within the group. Even though we did not follow any hardcore lean approach by the book and we were not measuring specific tasks before and after, and that was not really our goal, we managed to improve the organizational culture and when measured again, our KPIs after the journey had turned to the better, way better. Uh, I know we still have room for improving, but in the short time we have come a long way. Now, my co-worker Guðrún is going to tell you about the journey that one of our facilities, the family park, and how they used the tools provided to better their environment. Over to you, Guðrún. Yep. Can you see my screen? Can you see my screen, Johanna? No, it's all now. Okay. Oh, yes. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Gurun, and uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about Lean at the Reykjavik Park and Zoo. And thank you, Johanna, for a uh, nice talk. A little bit about myself. I have a BS in psychology and agricultural science, and I've worked at the zoo since 2007, mainly in the animal department, but now I'm more in education. 
So as Johanna said, our lean journey started before the epidemic and we did a course on lean with uh, Money No. So we have a lot of essential tasks that are performed every day, like feeding the animals and cleaning the facilities, like uh, Johanna talked about. And we have like very di diverse projects. We have attractions, ticket office, people working in office and education. And uh, sometimes we get a little bit in the <laughs> trap that like we have always done things this way. You kind of start working at a job and um, it's been done this way for a very long time. And we <laughs> sometimes use this phrase to like tease each other when we're getting a little bit stuck in a rut. So um, I really loved learning about lean and it's helped me a lot uh, at my work. So I'm just going to give you a few examples of how we applied lean at the workplace. So the first example is we always had to weigh our hay. Uh, this is really an essential task to monitor the eating habits of our animals. We have to see like how much they eat, how much they have to eat. And there are many members working at the zoo. We have shifts and, and people are working on the weekends. So it's important that we're all on the same page with the feedings. And so we used to put like haystacks on the floor and uh, there was really hay everywhere. We had to bend down, pick up the hay and put it in the manger. And it's not good for anyone's back. <laughs> Su suffice to say, we have uh, quite a few members of staff that have bad backs but uh, this had to be done twice a day, every day for each horse. And there was like very much sweeping and uh, yes, the just the movement of picking it up wasn't good for anyone. So we had a simple solution, which was to hang the bags of hay on hooks. And this way we pretty much eliminated the sweeping and didn't have to bend down anymore to pick up the hay. So simple solution didn't cost anything really. So, <clears throat> Another example was transporting wood shavings. We were transporting the wood shavings every day, uh, either by carrying them or using a small dolly to take them about 70 to 80 meters from the big barn to the cow stall. And we had a very simple solution, which was to just put, put a pallet of wood shavings inside the cow stall. <laughs> Pretty simple as well, but eliminated this task, which was done each day. And we had an electric trolley uh, brought in to move the pallets. Um, we also changed some work organization because the zoo opens at 10. It was always very stressful for the zookeepers to finish cleaning all the facilities before the guests came at 10. Uh, and we had a night watch person that had like very limited re res responsibilities and assignments other than just keeping watch and making sure the animals were okay. But now uh, this night watch person takes on various tasks for the animal department, like cleaning the small animal house and feeding the animals. And <laughs> like they got over here is uh, hugging the cows, <laughs> just spending time with them. It's, it's very, uh, heartwarming to see them together <laughs> and now the workload is more distributed and there's less stress in the mornings another uh, example of lean that had a very big impact on my workday was uh, we changed uh, the fact that we we're milking the cows we always did this every day twice a day uh, it was for educational purposes it's a very time consuming task and it, it was very stressful if someone was sick or on vacation that there would be someone at the zoo to who was able to milk the cows. It also took a long time to train new employees uh, to know how to milk and there were very few people that were witnessing the morning milking so it didn't have any educational value there and it had to be done very early and the time uh, the time interval between milkings had to be pretty even so they wouldn't be very uh, the udders wouldn't be uh, like full of milk there's also other diseases that come with milking such as mastitis which is infection in the udder and the milk was heated six times a day it took about 20 minutes in order to feed the calves so it took one staff member 20 minutes six times a day to feed the calves 